<laughs> this is gonna be fun. Hey everybody, welcome to G-Tech, and today I'm gonna be unboxing the OnePlus 8. This is the Glacial Green model, at least that's what I'm hoping. The reason for that is because I didn't pay for this. OnePlus sent this my way. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt, make an unboxing, review, and you might notice I've got an overhead cam today. This isn't a dedicated review, this is just me unboxing the phone. Of course, I'm going to be doing a review, say like a month from now with this phone. I will revisit my current LG G6. That's what I'm shooting this on, not this. This is my Lumix G7, my beautiful camera. Without further ado, let's just start digging into this thing. You flip it over to the back. I'm going to cover all this because that's the serial number and all that. It says Glacial Green RAM, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. Easy pull tab. You just pull this down and that gets you started. You just start digging away at it. It's so satisfying unboxing things in like vacuum wrapped plastic. So right away we can see OnePlus's signature red packaging and they're like real nice like soft touch. It's like surprisingly smooth. Like I, I, I get that it's a smartphone box, but like still. It's like a matte red color here and then like a gloss black for all the text. Oh, here we go. God, it just never ends. Oh. Oh, there we go. We're getting into this. Just starting off right away, we've got a whole bunch of information and stuff. We've got this invitation letter. Cool. Oh, hold on a sec. There it is. Sim ejection tool right there. That's nice that they include that in the box. Got plenty of stickers. Look at that. Okay, what else do we got here? Uh, highest SAR values. I don't know what this means. I'm sorry, OnePlus. Quick start guide. Yeah, I think I know how to use a phone. <laughs> um, what else? Safety info, all that good stuff. So there's your literature to read before you start diving right into the phone. But putting all of this aside, we can get into the main attraction. And already I can tell it's the Glacial Green model. This is, this is the one that I've wanted. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. Man, that's like kind of heavy actually. I think that's a little bit heavier than my, my G6. Before I start unwrapping this, let's just take a look at what everything else that's in here. We see our signature red and white OnePlus charging cable, USB-A to USB-C. This is great because my G6 charging cable that I currently have the phone plugged into is fraying at the end and I'm just too cheap to buy a new one. And then we've also got our 30 watt warp charger right here. This thing is nuts. It's supposed to charge the phone from, what was it, zero to 80 in 30 minutes, I believe. The OnePlus 8 itself does not support wireless charging. Uh, the OnePlus 8 Pro does, and I believe that's also 30 watt warp charging. Don't quote me on that. But that is a downside to this phone is that it doesn't include wireless charging, whereas my G6 did. And I literally bought a wireless charger like this year to try and save my charging port from dying in these last few months that I'd be using the phone. So I guess I just got to figure out what to do with the wireless charger now. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't come with the case, I don't think, the clear case. I was going to put that on this phone, so I'll just have to get a clear case for it. Because let's be honest, this color is beautiful. Look at that. It's like, oh, it's, it's so soft. It's like so smooth to the touch. And it's like, it's hard to explain. I don't know how well you can pick this up, but it's like, it's like a green at certain angles and then like a teal and it like changes color depending on the which way you look at it. Look at this. I match. <laughs> oh, so just taking a look at this thing, we can see we've got the volume up and down rockers on the side. We've got the power button right here. We've got the notification slider right here, which goes from ring to vibrate to completely silent. I know a lot of people like this. I don't really mind it too much. My iPhone had one and I just never took it off of silent. So if you like having the volume slider, then good on you. So as this thing powers on, let's just keep looking around the body of the phone. We've got the Triple camera setup, I believe it's ultra wide, wide, and macro. Wow, this thing's so big. God, <laughs> it's gonna be, oh, oh, gotta reach all the way up. That aside, we've got curved edges. This is a 90 hertz refresh rate screen as well. We've got our hole punch camera up in the top corner. I actually like the hole punch. I despise the notch. I can't stand the notch. I much rather prefer a hole punch over the notch. 
just in general. Sure, pop-up cameras are nice, like on the OnePlus 7 Pro, I believe it was. And to be honest, I was actually considering getting that for my next phone, but I don't mind the whole punch camera. That, it doesn't bother me. So we can actually take a look at this notification slider just right here in this setup screen. Push it up once, it's now on vibrate. Push it up again, silent. Vibrate, ring, vibrate, silent. It's got an in-screen fingerprint reader right here. I'd have to go into the whole setup process. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Single speaker at the bottom, single speaker up top. I kind of would have liked to see two speakers on the bottom, but unfortunately this is where the SIM card goes. And another thing I think is going on with this phone is that it doesn't have micro SD card expansion. That could be a big deal for some people. Yeah. There's your SIM card. Dual SIM, I believe, maybe? On my G6, that's actually one of the features I loved because it only came with 32 gigs of storage. But then again, that was 2017. We weren't seeing up to a terabyte of storage into a phone nowadays. This one has 128 gigs and this will probably last me forever. I don't think I'll ever have to upgrade the storage on this thing. Heck, like I've said, I've had this phone for three years. I have a 64 gig SD card in it, total of 96 gigs of storage. I'm only just starting to max out the phone's storage, the 32 gigs built into the phone. SD card, there's still like 30 gigs left. Maybe I won't care. Maybe I'll be fine having non-expandable storage on this phone because the amount of storage is so high. Otherwise, I think that's basically gonna do it for now. So if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, make sure to get sub below because I love making this stuff for you guys. And as always, have a good one. Honey, I'm a big